Life Lost Two. I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and we're going to talk about Paula Vaughn and her elusive patterns today. If you've been watching my Floss Two videos, you'll know that I have a little bit of an obsession with these, and I have been trying to track down the rest of her books, but I know that I could go on eBay and order them, but that would be an easy way to spend a whole lot of money and Honestly, what are the odds that I am going to finish all or most of the designs in these books I already own? So I'm trying to avoid that at the moment. About a year and a half ago, I started stitching A Little Girl's Fancy. Part of me is shocked that I made it this far. Part of me is so thoroughly burned out that I could happily leave this behind. And then I look at these books and the pictures in these books, and I kind of want to stitch all of them. So if you're as obsessed with these pictures and all of their wonderful little old-timey details as I am, I'm going to show you what is in the books so you have an idea what you're looking for. The Best of Paula Vaughn Volume 1 I picked up back when I first started stitching not quite 20 years ago. It was, I think, the first book of Paula Vaughn's stuff that I had seen. And like I said, I love them all. Realistically, if I stitch a basket of flowers, I don't know if I'm going to stitch another basket of flowers, but who knows? Life is long and minds change, and... I would not 20 years ago have said I was going to stitch this piano, but looking at it today, oh my gosh, I love the detail work on that piano. There are so many things that recur in these images, but even if I pick out the ones that are significantly different from each other, I could stitch for the rest of my life. Probably on this one book. That would be kind of boring and sad. And ooh, that's another one that fits right in with my current still life obsession. And then yesterday's dream with the spinning wheel and the quilt. This is when I finish Little Girl's Fancy, or probably before I finish Little Girl's Fancy, I want to stitch this one. It was going to be a mania start if I hadn't run out of time. And I don't know if you wanted the names for all of these patterns. There's the little girl's fancy. So many sewing machines and pretty dresses and baskets of flowers. And I love this one. This is one of the first ones I fell in love with because of the barbed wire. Don't ask me why I am so tickled by the barbed wire, but I am. And that is all of the designs in the Best of Paula Vaughn. Next we are going to move on to Paula Vaughn's Quilts for All Seasons. I found, saw pictures of some of these designs on Instagram and fell in love and spent surprisingly only a couple of weeks trying to track down this book before I found a copy at the local Goodwill tucked in amongst the office supplies. And that's why I hold hope that if I'm meant to find the others, I will find the others. This one book has 12 designs, and they are amazing. I think, and maybe it's just me, these seem more distinctive. There's more barbed wire. I'm going to stitch, oh, this one. I am going to stitch something with barbed wire. Cross quilting is what drew me to cross stitch when I saw Diane Phelan's work at the Salem Art Fair years ago and then stumbled across her cross stitch designs. And I was lost. I love the colors in this one. And the pumpkins, this is what I saw on Instagram somebody's finished project that convinced me that I had to stitch this. 
These are so much smaller than a little girl's fancy. If I had started one of these, I would have been done with it by now. So that is Paula Bond's Quilts from All Seasons. And the other one I've had in my stash for a while is the Romance of Paula Bond. This is a hardback. This is different from the others, and you'll see why in a minute. It has six designs in it. And honestly, I have not gone through and read all the text, although I probably should. There are the designs. And these, as far... Oh, I like the wheelbarrow. As far as I can tell, there is not overlap between these three books. There are similar designs, but the same designs are not repeated. If I am wrong on that, and I have checked and double-checked and made my head spin because there are so many sewing machines and barbed wire and similar ideas, but not identical designs, if I am wrong, please let me know. This book is not just cross-stitch. It includes the directions for the afghan. Excuse me as I try to flip, and this is a needlework carrier, and I think the dress for the doll is in there. There is just, oh, I like that wreath, her frame with sticks on it or whatever that is. I like that. There is a lot more than cross stitch in this book, and some of it is kind of toll painting and very 90s dated stuff. I do not see that clock in my future or, the, well, I was going to say I didn't see the hat in my future except it has the bird's nest. And I'm not going to go through everything in here. I'm just going to give you an idea of the projects that aren't cross-stitch. If you want a full flip through of this one, let me know and I could probably be convinced to change my mind. But it's I would not have bought this book if it wasn't Paula Vaughn and it wasn't for the Cross Stitch Projects. So there is my collection of Paula Vaughn. I've also got a lot of the individual leaflets, but if you're looking at pictures of those, you know what's in them. So I'm not going to dig those out and share them here. Like I said, I don't think there's much duplication between these books, and I am looking for her others. But before I go out and spend big money on them, since they're out of print, I think I'm going to keep working my way through what I've got. And maybe, just maybe, I should finish A Little Girl's Fancy before I start a new one. Although I totally think a spinning wheel with a quilt is different from a dollhouse in an attic with a quilt, and I could justify having those both on the go at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon.